Hello, everyone. This is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Song of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 10, Ruth, chapter 4, verse 12, and Hebrews, chapter 8, verse 3. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you, Lord God, for this word. Jesus, we know you are soon to come. We're expecting you in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, Song of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 10. My beloved speaks and says to me, arise, my love, my beautiful one, and come away. All right. And this is just God calling us away with him. The rapture is soon to come, you guys. So just keep your eyes looking up. He is calling us away. This is actually um, the Shulamite speaking of what the the groom said, what what her love has said. And so he said, arise, my love, my beautiful one, and come away. And so this come away, it's after a long period of winter. So um, then he's calling her away, right? And so the second um, scripture that the Lord gave me was Ruth chapter four, verse 12. And may your house be like the house of Perez, whom Tamar bore to Judah, because of the offspring that the Lord would give you by this young woman. So those of us who have been working for the Lord, those of us who have been busy about our father's business, uh, this is who he is calling away. This is who he is calling his bride. And so um, the offspring uh, are are the offshoots in the in the fruit of of a productive marriage right and so um this this is the work that you have done for the lord and the fruits of it right the um things that will not burn away um after having been tried in the fire amen so these are the the fruits of a, a productive marriage and so this is what this particular portion of the verse is speaking of, and it, which is basically like the Bema Seat judgment, right? And so the the place where it is the trying of the goods, right? And so um, the third scripture that the Lord gave me was Hebrews chapter eight, verse three, where every high priest is appointed to offer gifts and sacrifices. Thus, it is necessary for this priest also to have something to offer, all right? And so this is, um, of course, speaking about the Levitical priesthood as well as Christ, right? And his offering of his life, his sacrifice. So that is um, what Christ did for us, right? And so his gift that he offered um, that would be, his life on the cross, the altar of the cross. And so for us as priests, because remember the Lord calls us priests as well. And if you have a, uh, have accepted that leadership, accepted that position in the body of Christ, um, then you are working toward the goal of rest and the things that you have offered in your life, your your life as a living sacrifice, this is the gift that you as a priest have offered. And for those who have offered and those who have been, been chastened and abided in Christ, they will be called away. Amen. They will be told to come away with him. And and that is um, the the results that we'll see of, of that gift will be, you know, the a productive marriage, a fruitful marriage. Amen. All right, you guys, let's pray. Thank you, Father God, for this word. Thank you for showing us truth in you. We love you. We praise you. We give you all the glory and honor. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, if there's anybody out there who would like to receive Jesus as their Savior and Lord, Go ahead and pray this prayer with me, but more than anything, believe it with all your heart as you confess it with your mouth. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Jesus, I believe you died on the cross and I believe you rose again on the third day so that I could be saved. Thank you, Father God, for doing this for me. In Jesus name I pray. Amen. All right, you guys, if you have prayed that prayer and you believe that prayer, then the Holy Spirit has come into you and sealed you until the day of redemption. 
and um, he is going to bless your path. Amen. Um, one of the best ways to learn the voice of the Holy Spirit is to sit down, read your word, chew on your word and talk to him, ask him questions. And he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. So learn to wait on his response. Amen. All right. And then also um, one of the things that Christ wanted us to not forsake was the fellowshipping of ourselves one to another. Um, allow the Holy Spirit to lead you to a church home, a place where other believers are. Um, where you can stay sharp in the word of God. Also be baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. And then also go out and tell other people about Christ and what he's done for you in your life. Amen. All right, you guys, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you his children his peace. Take care.